Hey guys, uh, this is for the April 4th class. Um, I want you to please read the article that we put the link up to um, about uh, the COVID-19 virus and how it affects healthcare interpreters, how it affects, not infects. Hopefully we don't have interpreters getting infected. That's the whole point of the article is to keep that from happening. But I want you to um, read it and I want you to respond to me. You can respond to me by email or, or at the class on, on the class online class or whatever you want to do. Uh, you can respond to me with a video or just type up a, a paragraph, whatever. Um, answering the two questions. One uh, is, are interpreters essential personnel during the COVID-19 crisis? And two, what, if, if so, what measures should we take as interpreters to protect ourselves? Um, as I told you the other day, I have some, I've, I've switched my interpreting appointments to online or by phone, one or the other. Either, either one, I do both. Uh, but that way I'm not even in the building with the people. That's what I'm doing. Um, there is no right or wrong answers on this essay. Uh, I just want to know what you think, and I want to see your critical thinking about the information that we've been giving you. Um, the, it's a really good article from a really good source that I know very well. Um, and now I um, also want you to, uh, I'm going to run, run through some stuff for you to interpret. Um, and the reason I'm doing that, and it's going to be challenging, uh, the reason I'm doing that, this came to me the other day, you guys know, I've been spending a lot of my time during this uh, crisis. I'm here. I, I chose to um, isolate myself from everyone because of my COPD uh, to decrease the chance of me being exposed to the virus. Uh, and I've been doing a lot of translation, written document translation as well while I'm being home. And I've also been doing a lot of time, exposure, eight, ten hours a day to uh, Brazilian Portuguese and last night I was translating a document from English to Spanish while listening to a program in Portuguese and it, it really stretched my brain so um, I'm going to later on send you some more videos with me uh, reading text and I want you to interpret what I read I'll give you it's going to be like we do with the um, exercises that we do in class. I'll say something and I'll give you time to interpret and I'll say something else. Um, but during this time, it's going to have a noise going on in the background, talking in the background, because it's kind of crazy at the hospitals right now. It was really crazy at some of them. And you have to be able to focus on what you're interpreting and who you're interpreting for. So we're going to practice that um, today with videos too that I send you. Okay, uh, you guys are doing great. Keep up the good work. Um, I've posted also some work for three March twenty first, uh, which was a day that we missed, and also there's going to be work on the date of March twenty second, which makes up for the other day that we missed when uh, I was sick. Um, Anyway, you guys still have my number, 252-560-0453. You have my Facebook Messenger, and you have my, you can text me, call me, email me, whatever you need to do. And Flora is also available, too, from Sprint. She's been helping me with this, too. So thank you very much. Um, don't forget to read that article and give me your response, and have a great day. Bye.